everyone and welcome back to another review. Thank you all very much for tuning in and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the newest release by the company Zoologist and this one is called Bat. Now here is the bottle. Pretty cool looking bottle, nice shape, nice design, nice color combination. It was released in 2015 and the perfumer for this fragrance is Ellen Covey. Now Ellen Covey actually has her own brand called Olympic Orchids. I own one of their scents. I'm going to leave a link down below so where you could check that out. But uh, what the creative director from this company, Victor Wong, what he does is he commissions different perfumers to create scents for his company that are supposed to evoke uh, the smell of different animals. Now I know that sounds a little bit weird because of course I don't think we necessarily have a positive association with the smell of many animals whether it be an elephant or a rhinoceros but they're pretty unique in terms of how they're executed and I think whenever you're dealing with a company like this one the execution is always going to be rather difficult. So of course he's uh, collaborated with perfumers like Paul Kyler and Ellen Covey and uh, this is the most recent one. So he already has one called rhinoceros, he has one called beaver which I also own. I really like that one, although it's very animalistic. There's another more recent one called Hummingbird, which is geared a little bit more towards women. I've actually had the chance to smell that one too. Personally, I would wear it. And then uh, there's another one called Panda, which has a lot of sort of uh, eucalyptus and bamboo. It's a very light green and airy sort of composition. This is definitely the darkest, most challenging, I think, the most unique and most enigmatic scent that he has to offer. And I'm very excited to be talking to you guys a little bit about this one. But next up, let's take a look at the presentation. So here we have the presentation for Bat. This is a very hard um, cardboard type of a box. It actually has this ribbon on the side here. You open it up just like that. And on the inside, you see the silhouette of the box. And this is where uh, you know the fragrance rests comfortably. Um, Zoologist logo. And the picture here on the front, the illustration. You have some more information on the back here, the size, the concentration, and the Zoologist logo on the side. Kind of resembles the spine of a book. It's really nice to have a bunch of them lined up right next to each other. And then here's the bottle. You have that same graphic here on the front. Nothing at the bottom, nothing at the back. Really nice gold cap. I actually like the color combination and the cap comes off. It does not click into place, but it's a pretty snug fit and the distribution on this one is excellent. And that was the presentation for Bat by Zoologist. Now when I think of bats, I think of entering a cave and there are like stalagmites and stalactites and maybe there's like a flowing river or whatever you call it and it's really dark and damp in there. And when I smell this one, there is a dampness. There is this humid moistness about it. It actually opens up with the accord of damp earth. And I think there are a lot of things sort of giving way to that smell. Like there are vegetal roots and resins. And I believe there may even be soil tincture in this one because it actually does smell like dirt. It smells like soil. Now, I don't mean that to be a bad thing because I've actually smelled soil in some other scents like I uh, know uh, Tindra by Magnetic Scent is actually one that I really like that utilizes the note of soil tincture. And when I found out that Ellen Covey was the perfumer behind this one, I knew that she was going to do something unique and challenging. And that's definitely the most challenging note that you're going to encounter in this scent is that earth note. And it gives it a rather earthy yet organic smell and I think it's it's a very natural smell for that reason and I think it's one that isn't going to appeal to everyone but if you're into smelling different and unique and even strange if I may use that adjective I think this is one that you're definitely going to fall in love with but what I also like about this one is that it has some tropical notes in there and I think as a bat it's not an animal that we encounter every day it's not like a squirrel or a pigeon or a dog or a cat so I think to include something tropical and anomalous and exotic, it was really the way to go with this fragrance. And the note that's used in here that happens to be my favorite note in this composition is actually the note of banana. And I've encountered a few other scents that kind of use banana. Like I know there's one that has frangipani in it and it kind of makes it smell like it has banana, but it's loud and clear in this one. And I like it because what it serves to do is sort of tame the aggressive rough nature of the earth, damp earth note. And I think it does really well at that. It also has fig leaf, which provides a smoothness to the composition. And then when it dries down, there's a little bit of an animalic nature. It's nothing like beaver by zoologists. That is extremely animalistic. This one, 
I'm actually even having a hard time pinpointing it, but there is a little bit of sandalwood, vetiver, and tonka bean in the base. I think the tonka bean is probably the strongest one because you're going to get that sweetness from the banana note in the very opening, and then as it starts to dry down, that sweetness is prolonged, and I think... Uh, what's to thank for that is that tonka bean note. But of course you get like the furry musks and then you have the banana note. You have some other tropical fruit notes in there. Namely, I get fig leaf. Uh, not a fig fruit, so it's not going to be like a philosikos. Um, so it's not that chunky and that pronounced, but it, it definitely provides a smoothness in there. Kind of like Marc Jacobs for men. Overall, I think this is a very unique scent. I think it's a very different scent. and. Even though I want to say this is the most unique scent that I've smelled from this line, I think it's one of the most unique fragrances that I've smelled ever. I don't think there's ever been a smell that kind of evokes in my mind the images that I get when I smell this scent. You definitely have to try it out. I would not recommend this for a blind buy, uh, please, by any means. Uh, this is one where you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. There's a polarizing quality about it, so make sure you get yourself a sample. Last up, we have the rating. First up, we have uniqueness and overall smell, and like I said, this is by far one of the most unique scents I've ever encountered in my life. That combination of damp earth and banana with those tropical fruit notes and the vegetal roots and the resins, really, you, you need to try this one. As far as longevity goes, this is excellent. You are going to get 10 plus hours on your skin. Projection is also excellent as well. Um, I'm not speaking hyperbole when I say this, but I think the projection is really going to get you noticed. I wore one spray on the back of my hand. Two hours later, my wife comes home from getting her nails done and some shopping done, and she goes, did you spray that bat cologne on again? And I'm telling you, that was from one spray two hours later, and that enveloped the room. So you got to be careful with this one. It's rather dangerous. Versatility on this one is rather low. I hate to say it. I would only wear this in the colder weather, and I wouldn't recommend this for somebody 25 or younger. Um, I think that this is a totally unisex scent because I don't think, you know, I think a note like dirt and banana is pretty gender neutral. The only thing is that it's rather polarizing, so I'm having a hard time finding out what occasions this is good for. I would personally just wear this uh, to satisfy my own nose when I'm lounging around the house. I just, I would feel like I might offend some people when I wear this in public. But nonetheless, it doesn't change the fact that it's one of the most unique scents that I've ever smelled. And lastly, we have presentation. Presentation is excellent. I love this one. And if I were to give this fragrance an overall score, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. The one thing that's really holding me back from giving this one a 10 out of 10 is that I might offend some people. It's very challenging, very polarizing, but it's one of the most unique scents that I've ever smelled. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That was my review of Bat by Zoologist. If you or have tried this scent, please let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to rate and subscribe for future videos. So once again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This has been Stephen with another fragrance review from Red Essence. We'll see you very soon.